Привет, товарищи! Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the poncho. Even though it looks small, it's definitely not. And I'm going to show you 10 different uses starting right now. Now, very arguably, the very best use for a poncho is to be a poncho. And that it does very well. Not only is it windproof, but it's also waterproof. So anything from a rainstorm to a drizzle, you're gonna stay dry, and if you stay dry, you stay healthy and more prepared to take on the wilderness. Not only is this thing big, it's big enough for you to have a backpack, and also comes with a hood. Now a quick look at the construction of the poncho reveals that it is a ripstop material. And it also features a, a riveted style grommets to where you can pass paracord or any, any other fastening devices so you can uh, la lash it to a tree or to anything else. There is also double sided snap buckles to where you can take and you can attach the other side of the poncho to one another or to another poncho in general. Because of its waterproof abilities this makes a great tarp. And yet another amazing idea is to turn this into a shelter half or a mini tent like this. Just take it, uh, take one big um, rope or paracord and run it between two trees and then put this evenly between the two. Then just stretch it out. Even though I use stakes, you can use, a, you know, just sharpen tree branches or anything of that nature. Whenever you're doing this, make sure that this, uh, this is your hood. Make sure it's folded upwards like this. So whenever it starts to rain, you're gonna still be nice and dry. As you guys notice, this is still a full six feet stretched out. So you can do a lot with that. You can also use this as a dry working base or AKA waterproof ground cloth. Doesn't matter if it's rained or the ground is wet and you don't wanna get moisture on your stuff and you need to get something out of your backpack instead of putting it on wet ground, put it on, on this. Just flip this inside out, put the outside towards the bottom. Same thing, you know, you're cleaning your guns, you don't want to have, uh, start fishing for small stuff in the dirt, just put it on top of this ground cloth and you can do your work from there. Another pretty amazing use is the fact that you can use this as a sail. If you have a small boat or a small raft. Since this is like a tarp style material, you can rig it up and use it as a sail. And yet another amazing use for this is you can use this as a smoke signal tool. And what I mean by that is you take two, take two sticks, put them in an X type pattern and you connect from one corner to the other corner to the next to the next. So you have an X and then you stretch this fabric and that makes it a one hard structure. So whenever you start your smoke fire, as you, you know, your signal fire, you hold the smoke down three different times. That's the international sign for SOS, or that you're in distress. Even though you guys can see I did a really horrible job because I was in a hurry, you can still see that using the poncho as a decoy is a very valuable tool. Even if you leave the poncho behind and at least some of your gear, and you set it up in a good position, your, whoever's following you is going to take at least 5 to 15 minutes to try to see what the hell is up, giving you all the time you need to get away. As you can see, a decoy is a very valuable tool indeed. Another good use is the sleeping bag cover. If your sleeping bag does not have a waterproof cover and you're aware that you might get wet that night, just take your poncho, unbuckle it, pull it out lengthwise, either throw it on top of the sleeping bag or use it as a taco style. You know, just take it and fold it. Now if you take the poncho and just double it up, you can use this as a stretcher. Just take two long sticks, you know, about equal shape, and then you can take this poncho, wrap it around the two sticks. That way you can take a wounded comrade or just more stuff and you can either drag it or if you have two people, you can carry it. Another quality idea is the fact that since it's waterproof and you, let's say the scenario is there is almost no water to be had, you can use this as a water collector. Uh, you know, whatever uh, light precipitation that you may get, you can collect it on this tarp by just simply stretching it out and putting a rock or something in the middle, that way everything kind of goes to the middle. 
You can also, for short distances, water from a creek or anything like that, you can put it on the inside of this tarp and you can carry it over to your campsite. So there you guys have it, 10 different uses for a poncho. Now, not all ponchos are created equally. There are some crap ponchos and there are some good ones. Remember, you get what you pay for, so get a decent poncho. I love my poncho personally. I, I carry one whenever I go uh, hiking or camping and I always carry the same one in my car. And like always, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. Comment down below, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll enjoy seeing you guys next time. Paka paka. A little... A... Judd, the knees!